Hey guys, hope you had a good Christmas or are having a good Christmas. Um, I'll give you a little update on the build. I decided to do some more work on it. Uh, a few things. Actually, I'm still waiting to get my money back from Walmart. It's been over seven days and uh, it's been a fiasco because we're going back and forth with the bank and the bank saying that Walmart's got it. Walmart saying the bank's got it. Someone's wrong. So I don't know if this beach thing's going to work out. I mean, if I'm out 300 bucks, that's $300 away from the channel, so not much I can do about it. And uh, I pretty much talked it over with the boss. I think come spring, I'm probably going to buy a new scooter, like a new um, stand-up scooter. Something that does 60 would be nice. <laughs> uh, pretty much like that review I did on the other one, but maybe a little bit bulkier than that. Probably cost about 1200 bucks. Anyway, um, as you can see, that's the back of the bike. I'm going to retire that. It's been over six years. That thing has logged everything, even air conditioners. And uh, it's still going. <laughs> I'm going to basically repaint it and verithane it. And it's a wall piece for now. I might use it in the future. Who knows? Anyway, I'll take you downstairs and show you what I've uh, been doing with the bike. Yeah, so I basically decided to get rid of the, um, the rack altogether. Um, what I'll probably do is get a wide black fender. And have it come half up and then round it off on the end and uh, put some supports to hold it there just so I don't get sprayed. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that. It looks pretty cool, eh? It's nice and long. Um, I'm not going to cut this off. I'm going to leave this because down in the future I can use this if I want to put a rack or something on the back. And I can just, you know, it's already been pre-done and ready to go. Um... I could just basically put something from here to here to support it so it doesn't uh, move, obviously. But uh, there could be a rack here. Anyway, that's what I got so far. Um, I basically haven't drilled any whole pile of holes or anything. Uh, today I put a swing arm on the brake uh, disc adapter. Uh, originally I wanted to put that motor there and trust me I tried everything I even got pictures that I'll include in this uh, video I put one I put the motor here and it just clears the swing arm here um, but the chain is so freaking long I, I'm telling you if there's any movement in the motor or in the wheel and that chain falls off it'll lock the back wheel up and doing 40 it makes a difference when you're skidding out of control Especially in traffic, so I don't, safe wise, I do not think it would be a good idea to put that on this bike. Uh, I mean, you can't put it on a bicycle, obviously, obviously, but the way this frame is designed, I would like to put the motor right here. Uh, I can't put it here because I have to pedal because of the laws in Canada, and um, it'll basically hit. I got just enough room here from here from the battery box to the pedal that my heel's not going to hit this. Um, so anyway, this is what I've been working on. Uh, this was basically the battery holder that was on the rack that was up here, which I cut out hanging there. And um, once I get where I want it, like right now I just got these tie wraps holding it, I can drill the holes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put really, I'm going to actually order up some, I'm not going to use big ass bolts like the one I got on the floor there. Those are way too big. Uh, by the time I drill a hole through this swing arm here, it's going to, weaken it quite a bit. So I'm going to get thinner ones and properly mount this here and here and then what I'll do in come summertime I will weld I will weld spot weld there 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 and there and that uh, should be good. The bolts are just to hold it in place until I weld it but uh, that will be it and the the actual batteries will um, will hook to it, so I can just pull them right off. But it's really low profile, keep them really low, make it look really cool. So I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, once I line these up, you see these holes here and here. I might put little red LEDs in there for like um, backlights because I don't have a backlight now. But I'm definitely going to leave it like this. Um, the cases, that's not the case I'm using. The cases I'm using is uh, 14 comes to about there. And uh, it's about six deep. Um, that should be enough to house enough of these babies. Standing up like that. It's going to work out the way I want. Um, 
then I gotta order a backup motor. Uh, let's, I mean, I could run it just like this if I want to once I get the batteries done. But uh, I'm gonna order the rear hub motor come spring with, and then I'm gonna do all the holes and the motors and the fans and everything else for the back. Uh, now, where do you put the controller now that the frame is gone? Um, what I'm gonna do is make two more of these brackets here and uh, mount it just like that. And wire it all nice and neat. It'll be fine. Two controllers on the front, which is good because it keeps it all the all the junk with the uh, junk tech all on the front. And then uh, I'll run a phase wire down for the rear wheel, all in RC cable. Uh, same deal with what I did with the front. I'll drill at the axles, and it's going to be it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. But uh, I figured I'd share that. Um, I ran into that a couple of days ago, and I, I was thinking about it, and then I'm like, oh, should I? give up the the rack that I've had for over six years but the issue was having is it start like over especially this last year with the, with them doing the uh, work on the road that I, where I live uh, it really trashed the bike and everything on the top started loosening up and uh, if you were actually to set the bike down on its side it would actually twist you know it was to tell me that it was just it was done so like this is solid it's perfectly straight um, but the rack wasn't I mean the wheel wasn't center and it was a pain in the ass so this is a way better design um, the batteries aren't too low where they're gonna rub on the ground but then again they're, they're low profile so I can probably get a box like that that's the same size as this just as long as I don't go past the, the edge here because then obviously my heels gonna hit it but this is a really cool design um, I wish I thought of that before. I saved myself a lot of trouble. Because it was always, the bike was always a little bit top heavy when you had a battery on the back rack. But uh, this should take care of that. Not to mention, it just looks pretty cool. I want to ride it now. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys had a good Christmas, Christmas or are having a good Christmas. Um, let me get a little bit further. I drill the holes and everything else. I'll uh, make another update on it. But, uh, so far so good. Later guys.